From Coleraine in County Londonderry, we present Let the Bible Speak. It's good to have you join with us as we spend 15 minutes around the Word of God, preaching Christ in all his fullness. And this is Leslie Curran saying hello and welcome to the programme. It's good to have you tuning in as Gospel Minister and Evangelist in Coleraine, the Reverend Roger Higginson, is here to let the Bible speak. In the book of Romans chapter 14 from verse number 10 we read these words, But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, As I live, saith the Lord, every knee shall bow to me, and every tongue shall confess to God. So then, every one of us shall give account of himself to God. I want to speak for a little while upon verse number 12. So then, every one of us shall give account of himself to God. To God. This text of Scripture speaks of that great day whenever we will all stand before the very throne of God itself and give an account of the life that we have lived and what we have done with Jesus Christ. And as we think of this day of accountability, there are certain things that I would like you to notice. Notice, first of all, the universality of the day of judgment, the universality of the day of of judgment. Our text says, Every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Those words there, every one, speaks of the universality of the day of judgment. None will escape. There will be no get out clause for any. Every one of us shall give account of himself to God. The rich and the poor, kings and paupers, religious, irreligious, atheist, agnostic, infidel, Protestant, Roman Catholic, Jew, Gentile, Muslim, regardless of her creed, regardless of her class, regardless of her colour, every single one of us shall give account of himself to God. Those who have lived, those who are living, Those who are yet to be born, whenever the great day of judgment comes, it will be a day of universal judgment. None shall be able to escape standing before the judgment bar of Almighty God. The universality of this day of judgment. Notice secondly, the certainty of this day of judgment. So then, every one of us shall give account of himself to God. There's nothing uncertain about it. There's no ifs, there's no ands, there's no buts, there's no maybes. The scripture tells us every one of us shall give an account of himself to God, willingly or unwillingly, wittingly or unwittingly. We will all stand before the judgment bar of God and give an account. It is absolutely certain, it is absolutely immutable. It is absolutely unchangeable. There are many things in life that we are not sure of. We don't know what a day will bring forth. We don't even know what the next hour holds. There are many things that are unseen to us, many things that are unknown to us, many things that we can't grasp or can't comprehend or can't understand, many questions still unanswered. But there are certain things we can be sure of. We can be sure that time will end. We can be sure that we will leave this world. We can also be sure that we will stand before the judgment bar of God. If you learn anything from this message today, learn this. Be sure of this. Be certain of this. That you as an individual shall, will, must give an account of yourself to God. It is absolutely immutable. The certainty of the day of judgment. 
Notice as well the accountability on the day of judgment. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. There are certain words that our society today does not like. Words like responsibility. Words like accountability. Nobody likes to think that they are responsible for their actions. Still less do people like to think that they will give an account of their actions. But this verse of scripture makes it abundantly clear that yes, we are responsible and yes, we are accountable. We are responsible beings. God has created us in such a manner that we have the power to choose. We have the power to decide. We have the power to do things. We have the power to say things. And we will give an account of our lives on this earth. Our actions will be weighed in the balances. Our words will be weighed in the balances. Our thoughts will be weighed in the balances. Our motives will be weighed in the balances. Now that isn't to say that our good works outweigh our bad works. But all of our thoughts, all of our actions, all of our words, all of our motives will be weighed in the balances of God's justice. God's righteous law, God's righteousness, God's righteous demands on one side. And then everything that we are, everything that we stand for, everything that we have thought, said or done will be weighed on the other side. And as it was said to one of old, thou art weighed in the balances and art found wanting. We will give an account. We are accountable people. There is nothing hidden that shall not be uncovered. There is nothing unseen that God shall not reveal. The scripture says that he shall reveal the very secrets of the hearts of men. God knows our thoughts afar off. Things that are unseen will be revealed. Things that are forgotten will again be brought to our remembrance. The Bible tells us in the book of Revelation chapter 20 that the book's shall be opened all of our lives recorded in heaven before God every waking hour every sleeping moment every thought every step every action all we will have to give an account for the universality of the day of judgment the certainty of the day of judgment our accountability on the day of judgment but notice as well the individuality of the judgment. This verse of scripture says, So then every one of us shall give account of himself. Every one of us shall give account of himself. That is to say that you as an individual will give an account. You yourself will stand as an individual before the God of all heaven before the God of all the earth, before the God that fills eternity, and you yourself, without advocate, without attorney, will give an account of your life, the individuality of the day of judgment. Now, sometimes I meet people and they'll say that Christians are hypocrites or the church is full of hypocrites and they can so easily point the finger at others and they can point out the inconsistencies and the iniquities and the irregularities of other people. But the Bible says we will give an account of ourselves. You will give an account of yourself. You will not give an account for the Christians and the church down the road. You will not give an account for your next door neighbor. You will not give an account for your pastor. You will not give an account for your father, for your mother, for your brother, for your sister, for your children. You will give an account of your life, what you have done with Jesus Christ, what you have done with God's truth, what you have done with God's gospel, what you have done with God's salvation. It will be an individual thing. While every one of us will give an account and all the world will be gathered before him, it will almost be as if you are standing there on your own, face to face with your creator, giving an account as an individual for your individual life. Friend, let me ask you today, how will you fare? What sort of an account will you give? The universality of the judgment, the certainty of the judgment, the accountability of the judgment, the individuality of the judgment. 
But notice, lastly, the solemnity of the judgment. So then, every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Not to man, not to an earthly court, not to a police officer, not to a church board of governors or directors, not to a family member, but you will give an account of yourself to Almighty God, the judge of all the earth, a God who is infinite, eternal, unchangeable in his being, wisdom, holiness, justice, goodness and truth, a God who is eternal, without beginning and without end, a God who is all-seeing, a God who is all-knowing, a God who is everywhere present, a God who is all-powerful, a God of truth and without injustice, a God who is of purer eyes than to behold iniquity, a God who cannot look upon sin, a God who must judge sin, a God who must put away sin. Friend, I can't think today of any more, anything more solemn than this, that we will one day stand before Almighty God and give an account of ourselves. You say, well, there's things in my life that I have done that I'm ashamed of. How could I possibly stand before God? I've read something of the Bible. I know something of the Ten Commandments. I've sinned against heaven. I've broken God's law. And if I stand before God as I am, I'll be judged guilty. And the outcome of that is unthinkable. To spend an eternity in a literal burning hell without Christ is more than the human mind can comprehend. You say, preacher, how can I be ready? The Bible says that we must be ready. The Bible says that we must prepare to meet our God. How do we do that? By trusting God's Son, who left the splendor of heaven, lived a sinless life, was holy, harmless, separate, undefiled, went to a cross, shed his blood, offered up his life to God as an atoning sacrifice for sin, took the wrath and the justice and the punishment that we deserve, Come to him today, stand where the fire has been, and be clothed in the righteousness of Christ. Come to him today. You've been listening to Let the Bible Speak. If we can be of any further spiritual help, or if you'd like to receive some free gospel literature, we invite you to write to us. Our mailing address is Let the Bible Speak, Rev. Roger Higginson, 30 Nocklin Grove, Coleraine, BT 52 1WR. Let the Bible Speak. Rev. Roger Higginson, 30 Nocklin Grove, Coleraine, BT 52 1WR. You may hear Rev. Higginson preach each Lord's Day at 11.30am and 6.30pm at his church here in Coleraine on the Cloyfin Road, just at the Bushmills Roundabout. For further information, you may phone us on 7032 0266. 7032 0266. We assure you of a warm welcome at all of the services and we look forward to having you visit with us. Thank you for listening today. May the Lord richly bless you. And don't forget to tune in on this same station at the same time next week when once again we turn to the Scriptures and let the Bible speak. Music